Let's do some coherent breathing with the chimes. So you're going to hear a high tone and a low tone. You're going to breathe in and out through your nose. It's going to be relaxed and effortless. And just follow my lead. I'm going to help you. You are in part retraining your mind. Years of stress makes your mind jump all over. Kind of like a dog with no obedience training. So when people walk their dog, who walks who? Usually the dog walks the person. Okay? Your ordinary everyday mind, which is all you need for a lot of things in your daily life, is kind of creating so much stress and drain inside you. So this is a way of beginning to retrain that mind so your mind with the coherent breathing works so much better and is coordinated with your body and your spirit. So there's a low tone. And there's a high tone. Let's do it together, if possible, with eyes closed. Breath out. The belly gently contracts. Breath in, the belly gently expands. Breath out, relaxing your body more and more with each breath out. Breath in, belly expands. Breath out, belly gently contracts. If it's going the opposite way, a little bit of coaching will help. When you've had a lot of stress, it can go the other way. Breath out. If you're not sure where your belly's going, you can put one or both hands there. Breathing in. Allow the belly to expand. And breath out, it gently contracts. Breath in. Breath in. Ah, breath out. If it feels like it's hard to go the length of a chime breathing in or breathing out, just pause your breath for a second or two and take a little less breath each moment. Breath in. Feel a subtle energy fill your body. That's your stress response system being energized. Breathing out, now on the low tone, relax. Breath in. And breath out. Let go of tension throughout your body. Breath in. Let go of the tension in your face and head and neck. Allow a smile on your face. It makes everything so much easier, including the breathing. Relax your hands, your arms between the shoulder blades. Breath in. Breath out. Relax your chest, your belly, your lower back. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Feel the breath moving in your nose and throat. Breath out. When your mind wanders, bring it back to feeling the breath moving in your nose and throat. In. And out. Breath in. Whatever memory or image or sensation comes into your mind, just let it pass by like a cloud floating by in the sky. Breath in. And breath out. Now in a moment, we'll begin to use our imaginations to further enhance the ability to get rid of old stress. It's like each round of breathing and movement and meditation we do removes a little more stress. So we're gonna use our imagination to move the breath and our awareness to different parts of the body. Metaphorically, breathing in, imagine a wave washing up 
through your body, top of the head. And then as you breathe out, down again to the base, the spine, your sit bones, breathing in. Imagine you can feel a wave of water or wind washing up inside you. And as you breathe out, washing down inside you. If you want to follow my hand with your breathing, you can do that. Breath in. Breath out. Breathing in, imagine your awareness and the breath flowing up to the inside top of your head and then back down to the sit bones and the muscles in your pelvis. Breath in. And breath out. Breath in. breath out, breath in, top of the head, and breath out with your awareness down to the base of the spine. Can you feel the energy moving? It may feel like a tingling or change in temperature, almost like a chill up the spine when you hear special music you like. Breath in, up through your body, top of the head. And breath out, down to the base of your spine. Breath in, top of the head. And we're going to do this extending the circuit. Down through the body, down through your legs, out through the balls of your feet. Now breathe in from your feet, up the legs, through the body, top of the head. Breathe it out like you feel a cool bubbling spring from the center of the balls of your feet. Just imagine. Breath in, top of the head. Breath out through the center of the balls of the feet. I'm doing it with you. Feel the cool bubbling spring from the center of the balls of your feet. Breath in and breath out. Let your muscles relax through your body, your shoulders relax, your belly expands. You don't need to use your upper chest and ribs to breathe, at least not consciously. From the feet up through the body, your imagination goes to the top of the head and back down, out through the balls of the feet. Again, top of the head. Out through the center of the balls of the feet. Now breathe in, top of the head. And down to the base of the spine. Whatever thought, memory, sensation comes, Stay focused on the breathing and feeling the breath moving in your nose and throat. Down to the base of the spine. Now let go of moving the breath. Breathing in on the high tone. And out on the low tone. Just let your mind go wherever it wants to go. Breathing in, relaxed, effortless, continuous. Breathing out, very relaxed. A few breaths on your own. Just stay with what you're feeling inside. Observe the sensations through your body. Observe the kind of thoughts you're having. Is there any space between the thoughts? Is there less chatter than when you started? Do you feel more refreshed? What are the qualities of your breath? 
Is it light? Is it deep? Is it relaxed? Is it labored? Can you feel the rhythm of your breath without interfering in it? How is it compared to when we started? Is it slower? Is it faster? It may depend on where you're at today and what you've been doing and thinking. So most people notice their mind is much quieter with a lot less chatter and less negative thoughts. And experiments have been done on this without telling people why they're doing uh, different things to change their thoughts and feelings. Now, there are more ways to improve the effects of the breathing, and you can learn more about that. Uh, but just this is a good introduction, and it's really helpful to do before, for example, you have to give a talk to people, or before you perform with a musical instrument, or before you go into an athletic competition or an athletic practice, or before you work on writing something for work, or before you go to people at a party or some other meeting where you want to interact with people and you're more aware of their feelings and what they're saying to you with their facial expressions, which is different sometimes than what the words say. Uh, so you'll be more tuned in and able to relate more easily and in a relaxed way with other people. So I hope we'll hear from you uh, in the future about how this has affected your life in a, in a positive or negative way. And sometimes at the beginning, as stress gets released, you may feel lousy, okay? When you've accumulated stress over years, it can take a while to wash away all that accumulated old stress. And in the beginning, you may not feel great. Uh, it may take some time of practice, but if you just practice, it will come. It helps to do it with teachers who can help you and be in a group some of the time as well as doing your own home practice.